remember the final two word in our national anthem is called play ball. That's what Tom says. I needed binoculars already just to see the players' numbers. What's going on, everybody? It's the Blue Dots Gaming, and we are back with another one man team vlog. Today is the ATT tour, but no time to explain. We'll probably explain once we get there what's going to happen because it is 11 24 right now, and the train that goes to San Francisco leaves in three minutes and I haven't even bought my tickets yet so I'm literally just scrambling myself to the train station right now to get my tickets or else we're not gonna make it to the tour because the next train is at 12 15 and by then then when we get there it'll be 12 30 and the tour starts at 12 30 so yeah just hustling right now no time to talk I'll see you guys there at the stadium. Okay guys, we have finally made it to to the park area. Well, actually, we are not. We haven't made it yet. We're still walking down the street. Um, so, basically, we went from almost missing the train and being very, very late to get out of our house to now being very, very early to basically begin with the tour because the tour starts at 12.30. It's now barely noon right now, so... I don't know what to do now. Probably just walk around the park um, before we get to the dugout store. I think the best thing we might do now is just walk around the park, see what's up, and then yeah, before we know it, we will begin this tour. And by the way, since this tour is by with a guy that is doing the tour, I won't be a lot doing a lot of talking. I wanted you guys to hear what is she actually saying. So yeah, I'm gonna do it as little talking as possible in this tour to show you guys all around the best place around AT&T Park. Okay, first off on this tour is obviously the trophy. I know, it's a little bit savage showing you guys the trophy in the first part. 2010, 2012, and 2014. Yeah. At Seal Stadium, San Francisco Seals. We had a, a team called the San Francisco Seals back then. After that, they played at Calstick Park. They shared the ballpark with the San Francisco 49ers football team. While they were building this stadium, that's where they were at Calstick Park. So they started construction here in 1997. And when they start building this uh, ballpark, All right, so at the very top of the ballpark, just like all of the stadiums, if you go to other stadiums, uh, like for instance, Council Park, when I used to go to the games over at Council Park, the very top ball, part of the ballpark, I didn't have a great view. Sometimes I needed binoculars already just to see the players' numbers. That was just how far it is. But here at AT&T, there's really no bad seat in the house, and you'll see that once you go out there. What I like to do is uh, folks will go out there, folks like to take a few snapshots, It. it is a home run <coughs> from home plate into the cold or into the water. All right, it's got to climb a 25 foot ball and go across about 365 feet into the water. We also have splash hit counter, and you see that over there by 
the Levi Landing site. We have 70 splash hits. Remember, this ballpark's been open 16 years, and we only have 70 splash hits. So that also tells you that this is a pitcher's ballpark, not a hitter's ballpark. We have water cannons in them. It's going to shoot up water, and a, uh, a ball point's going to go off. And you know, there's a splash hit. All right? Right below the Levi Landing, those four archways. at t Park with John Shore extension. We still go old school a little bit because we have a crew that works behind her and put up scores of the game that's going on in Major League Baseball besides the game that's going on here at at t Park. Right around that to the giant scoreboard and right below it at center field. That used to be a storage area. Giants came up with another idea. We're going to change that storage area to the live garden. In the live garden to grow their own fruits and vegetables. They also have a restaurant in the live garden so what they grow they use at the live garden at the, at the glove that they used back in the early 1900s, the four-finger glove. It's 518 feet <coughs> to the of the glove. It's 501 feet to the doctor's deck sign. Fans also ask, have anyone, anyone ever hit the glove or got close to it? No one's ever hit the glove. Two people got close to it. He's in the Hall of Fame. The 51, that's called the shot heard around the world. Bobby Thompson's home run in 1951. That's when Russ Hodges was calling that game. And then 42, everyone wears number 42 in honor of Jackie Robinson each year in Major League Baseball. This is the Lefty Old Duel Park. All right, Lefty Old Duel Bridge. So the landmark here in San Francisco. What's interesting about the Lefty Old Duel Bridge is that you might notice that the weight's only on one side there. So when it does raise up, it's not like what you can do on the bridge where it's going to go up. It's going to come up from that little White House there, and it's going to raise in an up and down direction right there. When that bridge comes up or comes down, the air raid sound goes off. That you know that the bridge is coming up. Say, for instance, Dodgers on a weekend again. Tickets to the game, parking tickets in and out excess. Of course, it does not include food and beverage. So, on top of the ten thousand dollars you'd be paying. Going to be paying another one, two thousand for food and beverage. All right. Watch another team on a weekday. You go from that ten, maybe down to about four or five, and then you still tack on another one to two thousand for food and beverage. All right. This is number one street. Great view of McCovey Cove, Port of Oakland across the bay, Berkeley Hills to your left. Bay Bridge, Treasure Island to your left. The Coliseum over is way over to your right. All the way down that way. So I think this is the lowest level club areas. Look how nice it is. It's just as nice as the Levi Stadium one that we did a couple of weeks ago. Really, really nice. Got all the concession stands right here. Pretty nice. Not sure what's behind there. I think that's probably the cooking area. But yeah. Very, very nice. There we go. There we go. Ooh, pretty nice. 
Yeah. So does the guy the got the couch here? Or, uh, all the visitor okay. welcome. Yeah. Does he just put anybody anywhere? Can no. Go, or? Starts from the All Star. Hmm. Wow. Got the clock here. And then you got the timer. Wow. Pretty nice. And of course, that's the restricted area. Can't go in there. But I did get to see it. So, the Giants Clubhouse, we have our Cherrywood wall lockers uh, surrounded by it. They also, it's a lot longer and wider. More uh, recliners, more couches, more TV monitors. And also, two and a half of these will equal one over in the San Francisco Giants Clubhouse. So, a lot, lot, lot bigger. Oh, so that's how they do it. That's how you do it, right? We make sure that the visitors are comfortable, but not too comfortable. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stay right behind the net there, go all the way down. We got a lot of room. Oh, pretty interesting. It's not bad. Got obviously the, the grass there. We don't all fit. I'll make sure you guys get another second look here. Before we go up there. We can stop by that one way window and we can watch take a BP without disturbing the players. Alright? So we can say we can see in but they can't see out. The players start to come here at the in the ballpark and start batting practice a little early. So for instance, our game is, is again night game is 7 15. Players start to come here at the ballpark one one or two o'clock already in the afternoon. They prefer to stay Four hours a day, maybe six or seven days a month. Oh, okay. Depending on how many days I want to work. Wow. Like, I want to work this week. Come on down. Add me that one, that one, that one, that one. Otherwise, I'm not working this whole week. Okay. You can even walk on the grass. Well, not the grass, but the warning track. Okay. Nice. Nice. You guys can see it right there, up somewhere near in that section. That is where we sat last time. And we're looking at this on ground level. Pretty nice. Again, uh, safe travels back home. And enjoy yourself right here in the Bay Area. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate everybody. Thank you. We're going to go right back through here behind home plate. And we're going to exit out this way. Goodbye AT&T Park, hopefully we'll come back for the Nats game on probably next week, but we definitely won't be standing here, we'll be probably up there somewhere, but hopefully we'll be back for the Nats game next week, I think next Friday. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for the tour, as you can see I am right now kind of like, kind of like right beside one of the 24 for palm tree here at Willie Mays Plaza. Um, so as I said before, when we went to the visitor dugout, we are gonna go to Dodger Stadium to do their tour starting I think on, on Sunday. I think it's this Sunday. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty exciting. I mean, obviously there's gonna be a lot of things different. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something different between this tour and the Dodger Stadium tour. They certainly might have some very, very good kind of feature that we might not have but pretty exciting we're gonna see how it's gonna be and yeah I'm, I think that is pretty much it I don't think there's anything I can guys show you on this special day zero tour I, I actually didn't even mention the word day zero in this vlog because you know I was pretty busy coming into here as you guys know early in the video I had to rush to get on the train to get to here and then it was kind of like a slow walk here to AT&T Park I had to wait about 20 minutes or so for the tour but yeah I think that's pretty much it thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to my meet video make sure you leave a like I'm gonna try my best to try to upload for tonight in fact I'm gonna have to upload this video vlog by tonight or else I'm gonna have to wait till August to upload this vlog but yeah thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and of course make sure you check out my other vlogs and also I might come back to do another baseball vlog here around July July 28th or 29th on that Friday when we play the Nationals but we'll see how it goes but 
we'll see again thank you for watching this video vlog make sure you leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time